I've been waiting for a while to get with you on this. It's, we've been hearing bits and pieces about your work with an RV9 using the Rotex 916, and the numbers are stunning. Um, but something like that doesn't happen by accident. Adapting such an uh, engine to an airframe like this had to be a boatload of work. Tell us what happened here. Yeah, so um, Van and, and Ryan uh, approached me uh, several years ago and said, hey, you know, we have this airframe, the RV-9, and we think it might be a good match for the new 915 at the time. And they asked me if I would uh, be willing to work on a firewall forward package. They told me they were working on another airplane design, which at the time they weren't talking about it, but now we know that was the RV-15, and that that was taking up all of their engineering. And they didn't have the time in-house to work on it, but if I would work on it, that they had an RV-9 airframe there that they weren't using and that they would loan it to me. We ended up uh, agreeing to take it on, and here we are. So what do you do to the RV-9 to make it accept a 916 with such excellent results? So we don't do anything to the airframe, uh, with the exception of the additional uh, dorsal fin, which gives us the extra yaw stability we need to counteract the long nose and allow us to have good spin recovery. So and the interesting thing is no change in airspeed. I mean, it didn't affect our airspeed one knot, so there was really no downside. Other than that, from the firewall forward is all new. From the firewall back, it's a totally stock RV-9. So if somebody wants to take an RV-9 and put the 916 Magic into it, what's it going to take? So um, they just buy an RV-9, build the airframe, and then we'll sell them the firewall forward package. And it's got everything they need from the firewall forward to convert it to a Rotax 916 power. That includes the carbon fiber cowlings, the engine. Of course, the engine comes with a five-year, 2,000-hour warranty, which is very cool. It's kind of a new thing from Rotax, but it really shows how they're standing behind that engine. All the hoses, all the coolers, the intercooler, the oil cooler, the water cooler, the MT3 blade prop, the governor, the spinner the electric fuel pumps and air gascalator, all the hardware. It's literally a very complete package. Even the special McFarland made throttle and prop controllers, everything they need. Outstanding. Uh, do you have an estimated time to put the conversion together? We think it's going to be about 100 hours of labor for somebody to install it. Estimated cost? Right now it's at $119,995. The 916 itself is a little less than half that. We've probably got half a million dollars of development into it. I don't know what the the Vans package would be if you took a fuel-injected 320 and a constant speed prop and a governor and a spinner. Not too far off. I think it would be very close, yeah. It's, It's harder to figure it out because so many things are sold separate in that. But also, I think Lycoming is like two years out on delivery right now, and we can deliver these right away, these engines. So if you order one of these packages from us right now, you're probably looking at six months. What are you getting out of this airframe? Let's run some of the numbers. At lower altitudes, like, you know, eight or 9,000 feet, we can easily do 170 knots. And we're burning just under nine gallons an hour, really. It looks like we're at like 8.9, right in that range. If we go higher, it, it keep, just keeps going faster and faster. Up at 19,000 density altitude, we're doing 190 knots true. It's very, very fast. And if you're up high and you throttle back, the efficiency is unbelievable. And we're getting 145, 150 knots on like four and a half gallons oh, an hour. Boy. It's crazy. And the climb performance is also extraordinary. Um, we did a comparison at Telluride where you've got a 9,070-foot field elevation. We did it in September, and on the days we were out there, the typical density altitude on the runway was like 11,000 feet. I mean, we have full takeoff power. You know, you can climb at 1,500 foot per minute easily. Easily. And and we maintain that climb performance up to 15,000 feet max takeoff power. And max continuous, which is where I normally climb, up at 19,000 feet. And you say you're going to be shipping soon? The first five packages should go out the end of August, so we're very close. It's a complicated system because of the drag reduction that went into it. All the baffling and airflow is based in the cowling, mm-hmm. so 
there it's like formula one style technology where we bring in a small amount of air slow it down put it through a big cooler and uh it's 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 17 molds that had to be made Whoa. uh for all the integrated parts in the cooler so it's taken a long time to get all that tooled but we're close now to getting it all done and where can people get more information rv916.com that's easy yeah Meet the first of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name and indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury of what matters most. Time. Experience the Fury. Join the legacy.